mi members de la familia. Mi nombre es Amaro Dago. Son bienvenidos de nuevo a mi canal. And to my English subscribers, hello family members. My name is Amaro Dago and you're welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me for the very first time, I'm originally from Nigeria and I bring to you content based on how you can obtain your visas, immigration news and how you can live your best life right here in España. If you think you can relate to that kind of content, please do consider subscribing by pressing the red subscribe button down below, turning on your bell notifications so whenever I post you'll be the first to get notified, liking this video if you like this kind of content, sharing this content to other people who you think may need problem solving videos like this. In that way, you'll be helping YouTube send my videos across to other people who you know will need this said video and also leave your comments down in the comment section because you know i love to hear from you and this also helps my channel grow disclaimer i am not an immigration lawyer neither am i a recruiter this video is brought to you from my own personal research so do well to do your own research i'm big on doing researches do your research and find out everything you need to know before you take your next step all right without further ado let's get straight into today's video if you clicked on this video you definitely know the topic we are going to be discussing about i've had a lot of people make requests on this said video but i have been procrastinating i'm sorry about that today i decided to dive straight into it because yes it's been a while i created content here on youtube i've been super busy but right now i had like a break and so I promise that I'm going to bring up this video and it's of course going to be very detailed so that after watching this video you will know how to homologate your certificate here in Spain when you're coming from other countries that is not under the European Union so don't touch this down if you want to get value from this content see you in a bit have obtained a non-university degree certificate and you want to come study in Spain this video is definitely for you now firstly I would like to define homologation what exactly is homologation you'll be hearing this word you go on the school website you see you need to homologate your certificate you're wondering I've not heard this word before what does it mean homologation de titulo is an acad academic recognition in Spain of a diploma obtained abroad. For example, if you obtain a high school diploma in the United States and you wish to continue your studies in Spain, you will need to homologate your certificate so that it is valid in the Spanish educational system. The Convalidación Parcial de Estudios, a partial validation of, of the studies of the students who started their studies abroad and want to finish in Spain. The validation act as an exemption from completing your school year that has already been validated. For example, if you started high school abroad and you want to obtain a higher school diploma in Spain, you need to validate the years that have been completed. You have to validate it from your country before you come to Spain so that you know okay you've already done those other years and you will just have to continue from here. Looking at what are the diplomas or non-university studies that can be homologated in Spain? Which diplomas can be homologated? Which non-university degrees can be homologated? The diplomas or studies that can be homologated in Spain are the following. Education Secundaria Obligatoria which is from 12 to 16 years bachelorato, high school and vocational schools. So probably you did vocational schooling somewhere else and you want to continue here in Spain, you will need to homologate this certificate. Within each of these categories are specialties depending on the diploma you need to homologate or validate and you will be required to present a corresponding document. So going further, the requirements you need to meet before homologating your studies in Spain are as follows. The studies are official in your country of origin, number one. Number two, the studies are completed in the country of origin, number three. All previous school years are validated, number four. There is an equivalent with Spanish studies, both academically and in content and duration. So content and duration has to be equivalent to what's obtained in Spain. Going further now, I want to like tell you what 
documents are required in order to homologate these certificates. The following documents are required in order for the, your homologation application. Original passport and its photocopy. I'll be putting this on the screen so that you can pause the video and take it down as you will. A certified photocopy if the homologation is done by a representative. So you know I've done a video on how to you know legalize using a proxy. Uh, if you watch that video, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Check out that video on here. Original diploma that certifies the completion of studies. So if you've already completed your studies, there should be a diploma to show that or prove that. Original academic transcript that justifies the validation of school years. The subject studies, the grades and the different academic years. You know how the transcript comes. Anybody that has a transcript will definitely know that everything I mentioned here is what is in a transcript. For the homologation of education secondaria, academic transcript of the last four years are needed. So if you want to homologate secondary school certificate, as the case may be, you will need transcript of the last four years. Homologation of bacheloria, the last three years are needed. For the validation of primary education, the last three years are also needed. So if you're coming with primary school certificate, the last three years will be needed. Homologation or validation application form previously completed. If you need this, I'll be placing the link where you can get this form in my description box. So do well to check out my description box down below. In case you want a Valente de Inscription Conditional, the following form previously completed will be in my description box also. Proof of payment of administrative fee. There is a fee that needs to be paid in order for this process to be actualized. Where applicable, power of attorney, allowing the representatives to present their request on your behalf. Guys, I've said this before. Check out that video I mentioned five minutes ago. Going on, we are going to talk about how to legalize the documents in which cases it is necessary. So if it's necessary for you to legalize the certificate, this is what you need to do. The most important is to take into account that as the studies are carried out in the abroad, the documents must be official, legalized and translated. And this will allow the Spanish Ministry to certify that the authenticity of these documents. However, legalizing your documents is not necessary for everyone as it depends on the country in which you receive your diploma. Legalization of documents is not necessary if you come from a member state of the European Union. So if you come from states that are under the European Union, you do not need to legalize your documents. But if not, then you need to legalize your documents. Regulation of documents by Apostle or Hague Convention is required for countries that have signed this convention. Legalization of documents through diplomatic channels is necessary for any documents coming from another country. In my case, I'm from Nigeria, so if I want to get my certificate, I will need to legalize my document because I'm coming from another country. How to translate your documents? Any document that is not written in Spanish must be accompanied by an official translation into Spanish depending on, depending on where you reside and this can be done by a sworn translator reg registered in Spain. Where do you now submit your documents? Once the administrative fee has been paid and all the documents are prepared, it is now time to submit your application to the Ministry of Education. If you are in Spain, you will need to go to the following public registry of the Comunidad Autónoma, Alta Inspección de Educación. If you are not in Spain, you can appoint a legal representative to submit all your documents on your behalf after granting him power of attorney. You will need to get a lawyer to do that for you. You can also present your document at the Ministry of Education of the Spanish Embassy. So if you are maybe in somewhere else, another country, there definitely will be a Spanish Embassy there. You can submit your document there for it to be submitted for you at the Ministry of Education. Once all the documents have been delivered, you receive a receipt with your application number which you can check status of your procedure. Finally, Homologation of your diploma is a process that usually takes between 6 and 12 months. 
If you want to enroll in a Spanish school or university, you have not yet homologated your diploma, you can apply for what is called Valente de Inscripción Provisional. The application of this Valente is made the same day as the homologation request and once obtained, it will allow you to finalize your registration at the university. Indeed, this Valente can has the same effect as if the homologation has been granted, but it's temporal. In the event that the homologation of the or the validation is refused, school registration or official at, um, examination carried out during time will not be taken into account. So guys, if you want to apply into a Spanish school, let me summarize this. If you want to apply into a Spanish school and maybe you because from what we've seen now homologation takes a long time so in order for you not to start waiting for six months to 12 months for you to get know whether you are rejected or given the homologation you may need to apply for something temporal called Valente de Inscripción Provisional and this Valente de Inscripción Provisional is it does it, it will last for a certain time maybe like six to one year and by that time the school will of course accept you because you have this Valente and you're going to be like taking courses just doing your normal studies and even if there are exams you will write it but the only thing is that by the time your um, homologation is now approved and it's not it's not positive you will have to forfeit whatever you've you've um, done maybe exams you've written will be will not be accredited to you because you don't have the accreditation which is the homologation itself so but if it's approved then you don't have anything to worry about so this is what you need to understand if you don't have time and you feel you want to start studies then go ahead and get your Valente Inscription Provisional so guys we've come to the end of this video if you have gained knowledge or you have questions you would like to ask concerning this you will need to send me a message on my gmail I'll leave all the details up uh, on this video Remember that you have to translate these documents and I work with an accredited translator. I can help you translate your English documents to Spanish and vice versa. So yeah, if you need this service, please do well to contact me. Um, all right. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. I will advise you that you watch my other contents because there's so much you have to gain from them. Thank you very much for joining me on this content and see you on my next video. Till then, bye-bye.